Assalamualaikum and a very good day. My name is Faizatul Nazifa binti Zulkifli and my metric number is BR18110019. And today I will be presenting about pineapples which is scientifically named as Ananas comosus. For the plant morphology of pineapples, the pineapple plant has a short stout stem and a rosette of sword-shaped leaves with needle-like tips. The leaves are waxy, have upturned spines on the margin, and may be solid green or striped with red as seen on the picture on the right. It can, only, it can also be striped with white or cream. When the plant flowers, the stem begins to elongate and produces a flower head of small purple or red flowers, each with a pointed bract. The stem then continues to elongate and sets down a tuft of short leaves called a crown. The individual fruits develop from the flowers and fuse to form one large cylindrical fruit unit topped by the crown. The, this fruit is known as the pineapple. It has a tough rind made up of hexagonal units and a fibrous juicy flesh which may be yellow to white in color. Pineapple may reach 1.5 to 1.8 meters in height and some varieties can grow in excess of 20 years. Next for the land preparation, all areas of the site should be cut, cleaned, or sprayed with herbicide or weedicide and then burnt. Once the area is cleared with the recommended sustainable practices, the work is continued using a tractor for plowing so that the reversal of the top layer of soil will be reversed downwards. And then plowing is done again once after that so that all the roots of the weeds can come out of the ground and then the preparation of the bed is done. The bed height should be at least 30 cm in height and then the distance between the bed should be 60 cm. And distance between the plants, plants row should be 45 cm. So the materials that can be used are top, slip, sucker or the buds of the pineapple. Next, the production of planting material. Pineapple is propagated from crowns, which can be seen on the picture on the left. Crowns, slips or suckers and ratoons. But slips and suckers are the most preferred method for commercial growers. Pineapple suckers arrive from leaf exiles, while slips grow from the stalk below the fruit. These are cut from the parent plant and used to produce the new plantings. The cuttings are usually cured for a day or two prior to planting by sitting them in the shade. Next is the basic requirements of pineapple. Pineapple is a tropical plant and grows best in temperatures between 23 to 32 degrees Celsius or in Fahrenheit 73.4 to 89.6 Fahrenheit. The plant can tolerate colder temperatures for short periods but will be killed by frost. The pineapple will grow optimally in well-draining sandy loam which is high in organic matter content. And the optimum pH for pineapple growth is between 4.5 to 6.5. Established pineapple plants are tolerant of drought but will not tolerate waterlogged soil which quickly leads to root rot. Next, the agronomy practices. Pineapples require supplemental irrigation during dry spells for optimum production. That's why mulching around the plants will help to conserve the soil moisture. 
cycle, so retuning may also be utilized as a means of encouraging growth. After the first crop of fruit, retuning the plants will result in new fruit within 18 months. This process may be repeated a second or third time, but then the crop will be rotated to prevent the buildup of disease. Removing suckers and slips from the developing plants help the plant to focus energy on growing the fruit and leads to larger fruit that develops quicker. Pineapples benefit from the application of additional nitrogen and potassium, but the application rates depend largely on the type of soil the plants are growing in. Generally, it is known that little fertilizer is required during the first few months following planting, but then requirements will increase rapidly in the period leading up to the flower development. The fertilizers are usually applied as foliar sprays. For harvesting, pineapples are ready to harvest when at least one third of the fruit rind has turned from green to yellow as shown in the picture on the right. The fruits are harvested by hand by cutting the crown and the peduncle from the plant. The fruit will then continue to ripen off of the plant after harvest. Next, the plant disease and pest problem. The first disease is the bacterial heart rot and fruit collapse, which is caused by bacteria Irenia chrysanthemi. The management for this disease is to remove and destroy infected fruits, avoid the use of infected crowns for seed material to prevent the spread of the disease, planting to avoid flowering, when adjacent field is fruiting can reduce disease development, and then the use of meticide and control of ants can significantly reduce the disease incident. The next disease is the butt rot black rot, and white leaf spot, which is caused by fungus, Calara paradoxa. The management for this is that seed materials should be stored on the mother plants during dry weather and with good air circulation. Freshly removed seeds material should be dipped in an appropriate fungicide within 12 hours of removal from the mother plant, avoiding brush bruising, and wounding of fruit during harvest also helps to reduce the black rot and harvested fruit should be dipped in an appropriate fungicide within 6 to 12 hours of harvest to prevent disease development during shipping. Next, the disease is marbling which is caused by bacteria Acetobacter sp and Irenia herbicola. The management for this disease is currently there are no methods to control the disease, but the pineapple variety smooth cayenne appears to be moderately resistant to this type of disease. Next is the mealy bug wilt, also known as the pineapple wilt virus, the PWV. This is caused by the virus. And then the management for this problem is that ants should be controlled in an appropriate amount of insecticide. Next disease is the Phytophthora heart and root rot, which is caused by Omycetes, the Phytophthora sp. The management for this is to plant in raised beds so that it helps to drain the soil and reduce incidence of the disease and then the mulch from the pineapple debris should be avoided and pre-planting dips and foliar applications of fossil aluminium are very effective at controlling the disease and the last pest problem is the mealybugs the mealybugs are insects which is known as Dismecoccus brevipes and the management of mealybugs is that mealybugs can potentially be controlled by natural enemies such as lady beetles and then ant population which tends 
the mealybug should be treated with an appropriate amount of insecticide. To come to a conclusion, the pineapple or the ananas comosus is a tropical plant with an edible fruit and the most economically significant plant in the family Bromeliaceae. Since the 1820s, the pineapple has been commercially grown in greenhouses and many tropical plantations. Furthermore, it is the third most important tropical fruit in the world production. Pineapple was introduced in Malaya in the 16th century by the Portuguese in line with a growth of rubber plants grown pineapple in 1921 in cash and up to now cultivated plantation area of peat, especially in Johor. That is all from me. Thank you very much.